we've been taking pictures of comet 3 atlas and we've been looking at all those colors the jets that it produces all that fascinating cosmic colors that it shows up i was always wondering whether those cosmic colors has anything to do with the plasma um and any relation to it so now we have more time and everyone has lot more information lot more data so now we are looking at all the scientific papers research and also the pictures that are coming from various satellites and it is getting more and more clear that the jets that we have noticed the pictures that we have seen more than likely is a kind of a plasma show that the 3a atlas put it in front of us so back in the day when space was looked at it everyone thought the space is all made by ether that's the best they could think of like what space can be right and then at a period of time when we started looking at sun we started looking at understanding the particles we started understanding the energies we end up getting to a point where maybe space is filled with plasma but particle physics advanced quite a bit so particle physics took over like from 1970s and now even until until recently uh, everything that we talk about space is made of dark energy dark matter we talk about gravity and no one talks about plasma anymore and now what happened was there is a big turn around came in when the james webb telescope uh started taking pictures even the vera rubin is adding more pictures now people are seeing these filaments people are seeing these galaxies and the interacting galaxies people are seeing the space medium itself is communicating not with ether not with matter not with gravity not with any dark matter it's actually physically connecting through these ions through these charged ions which is plasma so the plasma is now coming back to the forefront and when we start looking at this universe and when we are looking at this comet 3a atlas and all we need to start looking at the plasma and the impact of maybe using plasma as energy resource even for interstellar travel so there is quite a bit that we need to look at it so when the 3a atlas moved behind the sun and it came back towards the mars it actually started showing various colors so if it is truly interstellar if it was doing star hopping from various stars to get here from sagittarius or deep inside the milky way or even from outside the galaxy so this could be carrying materials from another star or materials from another solar system another galaxy and it must be carrying star dust the dust that made the stars what could that be right it could be the hydrogen helium those free protons free electrons the ionized material which is what we see at the sun and when it started interacting with the solar wind it immediately activated started discharging all that ionized gas and we are seeing that plasma show and that's why we may be seeing all those colors there and i was looking at various papers that were published since then by the european union clipper mission i think that was smoking gun i'm going to have a separate video of the clipper mission and the details that they found it was like fascinating of how big the ionized tile is and how the clipper was was showered by the ionized tile 
of Comet 3 Atlas. I'm going to show you, I'm going to create a separate video uh, talking about the Clipper mission by itself. That, that's a fascinating story, by the way. But the pictures from the Clipper shows very clearly that it was dealing with a lot of ionized gas and ionized tail of Comet 3 Atlas. And when we were taking pictures almost the same time, we were looking at all these colors. So talking about the plasma, right? This is the close point picture. And um, we looked at these uh, pictures and the time lapses before. And when we start wearing the plasma hat, it perfectly makes sense now. The thrust is coming from the plasma thrust. So the jets that we are seeing are, if it is carrying the material, the ingredients that is needed to interact with the solar wind, and create the plasma based on that. It's not a far-fetched idea that it is, in fact, releasing the plasma and it may be using that as a thruster. And that may be the reason why the anti-tail is that long and the X-ray pictures that from the Chandra is that long. We may need to do, we may need to do more research, we may need to get to the bottom of uh, the research papers that they are looking at. But when we start looking at some of these pictures now, it's getting more and more obvious that uh, there, is, there is definitely a energy which is more than likely a plasma kind of energy involved in running this. It explains the colors. It explains a uh, lack of the usual cometary features. It explains various things for us. There are multiple pictures here that we can actually see. Like another one which we have is the... So this picture that, that I have here, if I run this on the slow motion, you will actually see it is spinning, right? Not causing it spinning, whether somebody can prove it definitely, that it is spinning, does it have a shape? I mean, those are all still uh, need to be researched. We have enough data now, we captured enough data, and uh, we will provide this data to whoever is going to further research this topic. But what is getting more and more clear is we may need to start looking at the plasma-based energy resource being used by the interstellar objects, whether they are technological or not. And it is quite possible that that may be the medium that it, it may be using to move from a uh, solar system to the other solar system. This has to be proven. Uh, this is a speculation at this moment, but it has to be proven. I, I'm working on a new comet, and I'm going to share more details in the future videos about that new comet as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I don't usually put clickbait kind of titles, so please help me hype the video so that it helps the channel grow. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Thank you very much. Clear skies.